Okay, let's do a power off stall. So I'm in straight level on accelerated flight, nicely trimmed out. I do a Craig's checklist, clearing turns, radio call, make sure I'm at a good altitude, gumps check, find a safe place to land. Once I've done all that, I set up for the power off stall. So I'm gonna simulate landing configuration. I'm going to be on a downwind. I go carb heat um, uh, full, uh, and then I go throttle back to, you can go to idle, you can go to 1700 RPMs if you want. We're gonna hold the nose on the horizon. We're not gonna give up any altitude. As we get into the white arc or below 110 at least, we go flaps one. We hold the nose on the horizon. At some point when we're in the white arc, we go flaps two. We continue holding the nose on the horizon. We're not giving up any um, altitude. We go flaps three or full flaps. At this point, we're getting pretty dang slow. We go power idle if we haven't already. We pitch the nose over to simulate a descent, like we're coming into land. We get it to about 60 to 65 in terms of airspeed, 500 feet a minute. Then we pick an altitude that we're gonna simulate the runway at. At that altitude, we start to pull back, we introduce back pressure, we hold it off the runway like we're gonna land, and then we continue pulling back like there was an object on the runway that we're trying to avoid and we do it wrong. We don't add power and go around, we just pull back. At some point, you're gonna start to have some indication of, of a stall, of an impending stall. We're gonna, we're gonna verbalize that. We're gonna say the stall is imminent, whether it be buffeting, whether it be the stall horn, um, whatever it is, we're gonna say the stall is imminent. If you are to recover at the first sign of indication of a stall, you would do that now. Otherwise, we continue the back pressure. We make sure we're coordinated, we're not yawing the plane, that the nose isn't moving through the horizon. Continue the back pressure, continue the back pressure. At some point, the uh, airplane will break, the nose will drop. At that point, we just release back pressure, Carb heat goes full, uh, cold, throttle goes full. We bring the nose back to the horizon. We establish a positive rate of climb. We start walking out the flaps, letting the airplane accelerate. Walking out the flaps, letting the airplane accelerate. Walking out the flaps, letting the airplane accelerate. Back into straight level unaccelerated flight and then do a cruise checklist. That's the power off stall.